The Butler carried the box office for the second weekend in a row. Our movie guy is here to tell us if it's due for a three-peat. Mm -hmm. Happy to have you back on the show. Will Thank it you. happen again? It very well could. It uh, doesn't have a whole lot of competition this weekend unless the teenage girls flock the theaters for the <laughs> One Direction movie. I think The Butler will score a third straight weekend. We'll talk about that in just a minute, but mm -hmm. here are the numbers in the box office over the weekend. The Butler at $16.5 mm -hmm. million. Now, these numbers are not terrifically high, but no. is The Butler making its money back? Oh, absolutely. No, the, the Butler is most definitely a hit, and it, you know, it was a very small budgeted film, you know, with 41 producers all chipping in six pennies or whatever they did. Uh, the Butler is definitely going to make its money back, and it's a word of mouth hit. So this film is going to keep going and going for a few more weeks. Well, that's what I'm hearing. The demographic is growing on this mm -hmm. one. Also on the list were The Millers, the Jennifer Aniston film. Another big hit. The Mortal Instruments and The World's End and Planes coming in around mm -hmm. $8 million. So coming up this weekend, you already gave us a little <laughs> bit of a tip off here. Yeah. We have Closed Circuit, Getaway, and mm -hmm. One Direction, mm -hmm. This Is Us. Let's start with Closed Circuit. Yeah, not, it's not getting a very big release from Focus Features, who also kind of, they, they should have released The World's End in more theaters last week mm. to get a bigger bump, but uh, you're not going to see much from Closed Circuit this weekend. And Getaway, which you screened. <laughs> I did screen it. It's a really ridiculous movie. should just be called Shifting the Movie, because that's pretty much all the movie entails. Um, it's probably going to do maybe $10, $11 million over the four days. You're not going to see a lot of big money this weekend. That's horrible. And then mm -hmm. One Direction, <laughs> again, this is a concert movie. Yeah, and this could go either way. I mean, I don't know, you know, if this movie was released maybe a year and a half ago, maybe it would have done more. I mean, we saw the Justin Bieber movie and the Miley Cyrus movie back when she wore clothes uh, that <laughs> did very well. But the last couple, the Wonder, uh, not the One Direction, but the Jonas Brothers movie and the Katy Perry movie didn't do that well. So this is kind of a mixed bag. We'll see how it does. Behind the scenes, you have a couple of big Hollywood heavy hitters, mm -hmm. George Lucas and Steven Spielberg saying, that the film industry is in for an implosion. What Lucas and Spielberg were getting at earlier this summer when they made these statements was the idea that these big budgets that were keep coming out of Hollywood, that you know, the, the more money they keep pouring into these movies, if they don't make their money back, you're going to see Hollywood sort of implode. And we had that sort of that month period where you had White House Down and Lone Ranger and R.I.P.D. and Turbo and Pacific Rim, you know, and they were all sort of failing a little bit, uh, and that's what they were sort of looking at. But we have 23 movies this year that have uh, budgeted over $100 million. 15 of them can be considered successes. So, you know, which way are we going here? But there's a lot of money being spent on flops. Absolutely. I mean, Lone Ranger was a huge flop, White House Down. But, you know, 15 out of 23, you know, if you're doing the math, that's not too bad uh, for a summer that's going to be, it's the biggest summer on record. We're looking at $4.4 .4 billion this summer in the midst of all these flops. So it's a weird summer for sure. Eric, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you.